You're thinking about buying that brand new shiny kayak, but you don't have a way of carrying it. Well, I came up with a solution that I think you're going to like. Hey there, Salt Strong family. This is Pat Ogletree, and I hope this finds you all happy, healthy, and safe. I noticed in the community there's some people out there that want to get into the kayak world, but they don't have a way of carrying their kayaks. And if you're anything like me and you don't own a truck, this could be a big problem because not only do you have to carry the kayaks, you got to carry all the gear. So for me, the answer was to buy a trailer. Now, the only issue with buying a trailer when I went to do my research was they have all two problems. The first problem is they didn't have any place to store your gear. Yeah, you could get a, a kayak trailer that could carry one kayak, two ki kayaks, 10 kayaks, but they didn't have any place to keep your stuff. And the second problem was they're all really, really expensive. So my plan was to build my own. So I did some research on YouTube. I found some plans that I really, really liked, and I set out to get this project done. So here's what I came up with, and I'd like to share it with you. The base frame is a 4x8 aluminum trailer kit bought from Northern Tool. I chose aluminum because I know it would be in a harsh saltwater environment and I didn't want the steel to corrode as fast. The floor is made from 3 quarter inch pressure treated plywood and the frame for the box is made from 2x4s. The 2x4s are fastened together using galvanized L brackets and screws. The sides are finished off with half inch pressure treated plywood and the top is another sheet of 3 quarter inch pressure treated plywood. Everything is screwed together using exterior deck screws. The front gate and the rear gate are mounted on piano hinges so they open up all the way. This allows for full access to the whole trailer without having to reach in too far. This also works really well for loading large items like tents and canopies. The kayak towers are made from 2x4s that are lag screwed to the frame of the trailer. This is very secure. The size of the box is 8 feet long by 4 feet wide and 2 feet tall, which gives me 64 cubic feet of cargo carrying capacity, about the same as a small SUV with the seats folded down. The overall height is 76 inches and the length is 144 inches. The outside width is just over 5 feet, so it has the same footprint as a standard golf cart. It fits fairly easily in a single spot of a two-car garage. On to some of the cool features built into the trailer. The rod holders offer two points of protection. The first is the PVC pipe. This will protect them from any loose items from hitting the rods during the transit and possibly breaking them. The second is the rod socks inside the PVC. This keeps their rods from getting scratched while putting them in the tubes. In the front and back of the trailer, there is some LED battery powered lights. These lights do a great job in lighting the inside of the trailer, and as a bonus, they're removable in case you need light somewhere else, like when you're strapping down the kayak at nighttime. On each corner of the doors, there's a combination lock to keep the inside contents secure. And on each corner of the top, there is an eye bolt that is through bolted so you can secure anything that you put on the top box. With this setup, I can easily carry both of my kayaks with all the gear that comes along with it behind my little subcompact car. It's certainly cheaper than buying a brand new truck. This was a fairly easy project that didn't take that long to do. I think I might have maybe four days wrapped up in this. It's, it's really easy. It's not, not as hard as it looks. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. So if you're thinking about buying a kayak and you don't know how to carry it, or if you're thinking about building a trailer, I hope you got some ideas from this and it gave you a little bit of confidence to go ahead with the project. Also, if you've already built a trailer, I would love to see what you came up with. I'd like to see new ideas. Post a picture of it below in the comments. As always, when you're out there, please make sure and pick up after yourself. And if you have to, please pick up after others. We need to take care of our waterways. It's getting pretty bad out there. I really appreciate you watching the video and until next time, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.